This tutorial will discuss the uh, data collector features available within Motion View video analysis software by AllSport Systems. Uh, to bring up the data collector features uh, under the main file menu, just click Show Data Collector. Now the data collector uh, lives in the center of the Motion View screen. You'll notice there's a sizable panel that you can uh, use to adjust how tall the uh, data collector portion of the window is. And it also has its own separate file menu since uh, you'll be dealing with data as opposed to video when you're working in the data collector itself. One of the first things you'll need to do is to create your scenario descriptors. You can think of the scenario descriptors as each of the columns that you'll work with in the data table and how you'd like to tag or break down the particular video that you're working with. So first thing we'll do is edit the scenario descriptors and that will present us with this uh, scenario descriptor screen where we can add our first column. Now in today's tutorial we'll just use a somewhat generic example so we're gonna say that there's a, a game film of some sort and it's broken down into quarters so we'll just have our first column be the quarter that we're in and we'll allow this to be a numeric value between number one and four. The default value will just be the the number one which is fine. Now we'll add another column to the uh, collection and for this one we'll say uh, let's identify whether we're on offense or defense as far as our team goes. So for that we'll just say um, something like side. This is the title by the way that I'm putting up here and then down here we'll use textual values for offense or defense. As you can see these textual values can be anything at all. Uh, the software is written uh, very flexibly so that you can really use it to tag any kind of scenarios or events that you take video of. We'll just add one more column as an example to this. Uh, we'll make a third column now and this will be our ball position on the field we'll say. Now this could be either a numeric value within some range or you could just enter a few key choices. We'll do that for now. Just enter some textual values. Uh, we'll say we're at our goal line. Uh, we'll say we're at the 10, 20, 50. And then go the other way for these last few. Again, you could do this however you want to. But this is just an example to show you what you might do. Of course, you could have also made this a numeric value. Um, chosen it that way. But for now we'll just we'll just use those three uh, scenario descriptors. Obviously you could continue to build out as many columns and as many scenario descriptor choices as you need to thoroughly describe the videos that you take. So we'll save this now and you'll notice that our table here in the middle of the screen now has a few extra columns that have been added to it. The quarter that we're in the side of the ball we're on and the ball position. Now for adding video clips we can do it a few different ways. Uh, we could be filming live video in which case you would just hit the record button down here. Your live video feed would appear at the top and after the recording is finished it would automatically be added to the data collection as a new row in this table. Now to speed things along with the demo uh, I'm going to open an existing data collection and we'll take a look at that in just a moment. Okay so here we have a, a data collection that was previously tagged. This would be for an American football game. And as you can see the columns are quite different in terms of what the values are in each um, but that's perfectly okay. That's the whole idea here is that it can be flexibly used for virtually any sport or activity. Now we'll just view the scenario descriptors that we have for this particular um, data collection. You'll see we have a team on the field, field position, game situation, and so forth. How do we use these now to actually tag individual plays? Well, once you've identified the beginning and ending moments using function key F1 and F2 to tag those two endpoints, you then click the describe slash filter button over here on the right. Uh, this will bring up the 
tagging screen where you simply choose from all the possible values one selection per column as to what the video uh, is displaying and as you go through them you just simply make your choices and hit the save button and these values will then be loaded right into the table so the process would be to film then to tag the beginning and ending moments of the plays followed by describing the plays by making your choices here and then uh, moving on to the next play it's really just that simple now one of the powerful things in the software is the ability to filter or to sort the plays for instance if I click on the top of the team on field column you notice that it sorts the plays according to uh, this particular column. So my defensive plays are all grouped together followed by my offensive plays followed by special teams. And you can do this on any of the column headers just by clicking on them and you can sort them in forward or reverse order. Uh, to sort them back to their normal uh, time based values you would just click on the scenario number and that'll take it back to the normal order. Filtering is an additional ability in which you can limit the number of rows that are presented to you in the table. So as an example if we only wanted to see those plays in which our team was on offense, I'm sorry, uh, defense, what do we do would do is click show filters here and now we have check boxes to work with rather than those radio buttons. This allows us to have multiple selections per column. So what we'll do is just say show none here and then we'll select only defensive plays. We'll allow everything else to remain selected. So this will show us any and all de defensive plays when we click save and close. Now what Motion View is doing is limiting our viewpoint to just the, the few defensive plays that we've tagged thus far in the particular video. Okay, so this would allow you to focus your attention, for instance, on scenarios. For instance, if you just wanted to see every uh, defensive play where you were at a certain location on the field and there was a certain formation against which you were running, you could easily do that here just by selecting those items that match the criteria you're looking for. Those are just some of the features of the Motion View data collector software.